Good morning. My name is Ms. Mayu, and I'm the freshman counselor here at Washtenaw Parish High School. And we'd like to welcome you to a virtual parent informational event. And today we're going to be talking to you about several things that our school has to offer, as well as the upcoming, upcoming scheduling dates and process, graduation requirements, the Louisiana Top Scholarship Program, the FAFSA, tests that our school offers, as well as the LEAP 2025 testing requirements, the promotion policy, and then dual enrollment, AP, valedictorian, and other academic recognitions that our school offers. First, I'd like to introduce our counselors here at Washtenaw Parish High School. Again, I'm Ms. Mayu, the ninth grade counselor. We also have Ms. Johnson, who is the Jumpstart counselor for grade nine through 12. Then we have Mr. Jones, who's grades 10 through 12, last name A through J. And then we have Ms. Stewart, who is grades 10 through 12, last names K through Z. So our upcoming, upcoming scheduling dates are February 23rd for all current 11th graders to schedule for the next year. Then we have February 24th for all current 9th graders to schedule for their 10th grade year. February 25th, we will schedule all current 10th graders for their junior year. And on March 1st, I'll be coming out to East Washtenaw Middle School to schedule the current 8th graders. And on March 2nd, I'll be coming out to Washtenaw Junior High to schedule all current 8th graders. Um, also, if you'll make note to go back after this PowerPoint, and you can go to our Counselor's Corner located on the school website, and if you will click on the course description guide, I will refer to many pages as we go along the, through this PowerPoint where you can refer back in the course guide for more information. Um, so as far as scheduling is concerned, if you will refer back to page 61 of the course guide, there is a scheduling overview that shows course progressions throughout your four years of high school. For instance, if a student takes English 1 and 9th grade, it will show you the 10th, 11th, and 12th grade English, and it will take you through each core subject. Also, when the counselor schedule with each grade, the student will take home a carbon copy the day of scheduling to look over with their parent. Please make any changes on that copy, write it in on the carbon copy, sign, and return to the guidance office by the deadline given. Now for our junior highs, those students will sign and return to the junior high counselor. Also on the inside back cover of the course guide is a list of all courses that Washita offers and the grade that you can take that course. Next, we have the parental consent form. This is a form that our school keeps on file to allow us to release information like trans transcripts for top scholarship program, also transcripts to colleges, sports, or any other organization, as well as any discounts that students may receive for good grades, for um, insurance, anything that the school has to release. We have to have this form on file, signed by a parent. Also, by the time a student graduates their senior year, they must have this on file to graduate as well as consent to release information for them to get their top scholarship money. And you can find this form on page 24 in the course guide. Now we have two diploma path pathways that a student can graduate on. The first is the TOPS University pathway. This pathway allows a student admittance into a four-year university in Louisiana. This is in page, four, page 15 of our course guide. So if you will look um, to the right, you have to have four Englishes, four Maths, four Sciences, four Social Studies, two Foreign Language, and we offer Spanish 1 and Spanish 2, Art, or a substitute, which can be visual, choir, band, dance, piano, or theater, a year and a half of PE, or two years of ROTC will give you your PE and your health credit. 
There are other things that can substitute for PE as well, and that can be um, band, any sports, cheering, dance, or ROTC, like I mentioned previously. Um, and then your other courses will consist of electives to give you a total of 24 credits. Now for the testing requirements for graduation, students will take the LEAP 2025 test in the subjects listed. And as well as that, you have the ACT and the work keys test. So all students must take the ACT. And then some students will take the work keys test in addition to the ACT, depending on their score. And we'll get more into the testing later throughout this presentation. Now you have your top scholarship awards and that's through the state of Louisiana. You have your opportunity award, which is a, AC, a 20 on the ACT, along with a top GPA of a 2.5. And that gives you an average tuition to attend a four-year university in Louisiana. You also have different other awards that require higher ACT and higher GPAs that will give you the average tuition plus a stipend for books and so on. Um, you can see this on page 17, and this also aligns with our Topps University pathway. And the other diploma pathway for graduation is Jumpstart. With the Jumpstart pathway, students may attend, may attend a community college, a technical college, or go straight into the workforce. It's also important to take note that a student may transfer into a four-year university after a semester at a college, a community college, if that's what they desire. You can see this on page 15 in the course guide. Now the curriculum is a little bit different for the jumpstart, as you'll note, looking to the right. You, have, you need four units of English, English 1, 2, and then you can have English 3 or technical writing, in English 4 or Business English. You need four units of math, and those maths can be Algebra 1 plus three additional units of math. For science, you need two sciences. It has to be Biology plus an additional science, which can be Environmental Science, Physical Science, and if your child takes Ag 1 and Ag 2, that can count as a science credit. You need two units of social studies. It must be civics and U.S. history. There is no art requirement and no foreign language requirement. You do have to have the year and a half of PE and health. Also, again, you can have your substitutions for the PE, like band, sports, cheering, dance, or ROTC. Again, two years of ROTC can count for your PE and your health credit. And then on the Jumpstart pathway, you must take nine Jumpstart course electives, as well as earn credentials within those electives to get your high school diploma. When a student graduates on the Jumpstart pathway, they can have certain credentials and certifications that give them a Jumpstart into the workforce or whichever technical trade they're going into after high school. Again, you have to have the LEAP 2025 testing requirements as well, and that's in the subjects listed below, as well as the ACT work keys requirements. So again, all students take the ACT through um, their junior year through the state, and then all students will also take the work keys test that are on the Jumpstart pathway in addition to the ACT. And Ms. Johnson is our Jumpstart coordinator counselor. So again, should any students have any questions about the Jumpstart pathway, they can certainly get with her or get with their current counselor if they're thinking about switching to the Jumpstart pathway. At certain times within the school year, a student may get a Jumpstart referral form sent home. Um, if their current counselor believes that that's the right diploma pathway for them, we do need that form returned back signed. But should you have any questions, please give that counselor a call. We also have TOPS Tech Scholarship Award through the state of Louisiana. 
you, you will need a 17 on the ACT or a silver on the work keys in addition to the 2.5 TOPS Tech GPA. This curriculum aligns with the Jumpstart Pathway. TOPS University students may also use this if they're planning to attend a technical college. However, they must ensure that they meet all of the required curriculum under the TOPS Tech Scholarship Award. This can be found on page 16 in our course guide. For Jumpstart, as I mentioned earlier, Ms. Johnson is our Jumpstart Coordinator slash Counselor here at Washtenaw High School. Um, so what is Jumpstart and what are my options after high school? As I mentioned earlier, I went over the curriculum for the Jumpstart Diploma Pathway. So students will be identified beginning in the spring of their ninth grade year. The counselor will send home a referral form to be signed, identifying your child to pursue the Jumpstart Diploma Pathway. The referral form can also be found on our counselor's corner. If your child receives the form and you have questions, please give that counselor a call. On the Jumpstart Pathway, you have different pathway options that your child may choose. When they choose this pathway option, that will let the counselor know what electives align with that pathway to get them in the necessary courses and credentials that they need to earn their diploma. As I said earlier, credentials must be earned on the Jumpstart Pathway for a student to receive their diploma. And this can be found on page 13 through 15 in our course guide. Looking at the Work Keys test, students on the Jumpstart Diploma Pathway are required to take this test, as well as select students who may score below an 18 on the ACT. This test is given several times within the year. The three areas of testing for the Work Keys are Applied Math, Graphic Literacy, and Workplace Documents. Washtenaw Parish is recognized as a work-ready community. You may also refer to page 26 in the course guide. For the testing that Washtenaw Parish High School offers, we'll look at the ACT. So like I stated earlier, all juniors will take the ACT through the state here at the school. For the, internet, for the national ACT date, the next available test date is April 2nd, and the deadline to register for the April ACT is February 25th. The student may do so at actstudent.org. Also, waivers are provided as well as vouchers. So if you have any questions, please get with your student's counselor. For the state test for the juniors, that test date is March 8th. More information will be given to those students prior to that date. We also have an acuplacure test that can substitute your ACT score to meet college admission requirements. We do not offer the acuplacure test, but you can take it at different places such as ULM or Delta. Again, if you have further questions regarding that, please get with your counselor. Also, uh, there is something called an ACT super score. So what is an ACT super score? So a couple years back, colleges started recognizing an ACT super score. And what that is, is it's looking at your highest score in each subscore area for your English, math, reading, and science. Also, our school offers the pre-ACT test to all 10th graders. We began giving this test this year and will continue doing so. This is a pre-ACT and gives that student and parent an idea of, of how your student may test on the ACT and what their projected score may be. It also gives teachers and counselors valuable insight into their capabilities and where they may need to grow and have improvements. We offer, also offer the PSAT test to 10th graders and some 11th graders. This is a voluntary test. It is also used for the National Merit Scholarship. Ms. Johnson is over the PSAT test should you have any questions. The ASVAB test is also a voluntary test for all juniors uh, that 
sign up usually in the fall. And this is a type of career interest survey test. The military comes out and gives the test to those students that are interested in taking it. But it do does not necessarily mean that you want to join the military. It gives that student valuable insight into matches their career interests to different careers that they may want to do in majors in college. So it is very valuable to that student. Then we have the uh, SAT. Um, we are not a test site for the SAT, but sometimes a student chooses to sign up and register for the SAT if they are having trouble getting that certain ACT score to meet top scholarship or college admittance requirements. Sometimes students do better on one test over the other. And then we have CLEP testing. And you can get with Mr. Underwood or Ms. Mentor in the library for questions regarding CLEP testing. This is where you, you take a CLEP test here at high school in a certain course, and you CLEP out of that first year in college. You can refer to page 25 through 26 in our course guide for all testing information. Now looking at the FAFSA, this is a free application for federal student aid and each graduating senior must complete one of the following to graduate from high school. So beginning their senior year, starting October 1st, seniors will be able to complete and submit the FAFSA for TOPS Scholarship Award. So any seniors that are planning on receiving top scholarship money must file the FAFSA and submit it. If you do not plan on attending college or interested in the top scholarship award, you must complete and sign an opt-out letter with the counselor to have that on file. Also, any students that are just submitting for financial aid must complete and submit the FAFSA. So you must either complete and submit it for top scholarship, for financial aid, or complete and sign the opt-out form. The opt-out form can be found on page 19 of the course guide and more information regarding the FAFSA can be found on page 18 in the course guide as well as certain events that our school will put on to assist students and parents with completing the FAFSA. The LEAP 2025 are the testing requirements to graduate. So our testing coordinator for the LEAP 2025 is Corey Greenwood, and these are computer-based tests. And you can find more information on LEAP 2025 on page 25 of our course guide. The subjects tested are English 1, English 2, U.S. History, Biology, Algebra 1, and Geometry. Also, each, next to each of these subjects, you will find the testing date. The dates listed on this slide are the dates that we plan to give these tests. This test, the score, will count for 15% of your final grade in that class. So if a student is taking Algebra 1 on April 14th, that student will take the LEAP 2025 test for Algebra 1. And then that test will count for 15% of their final grade. A passing score is approaching basic or higher. Also, these tests are timed unless you receive your certain accommodations for testing. And you must pass these tests to earn your high school diploma. So please take note of these dates that we will be giving these tests so you can make sure that your child is here and prepared to take these tests. All virtual students will come on campus to take these tests as well. So if you have any questions, please contact Mr. Greenwood for any LEAP 2025 test questions. And we will, getting, we will be getting more information out to you guys prior to these dates. Now our promotion policy can be found on page 35 in our course guide. This was implemented a couple of years ago where we not only just look at credits, but we also are looking at English and math passing. So at the end of the ninth grade year, to be considered a 10th grader, and this is throughout the, 
the district. To be considered a 10th grader, students must have acquired at least six credits and of those must have passed at least math and English to promote. At the end of the 10th grade year, to be considered a junior, students must have earned 11 credits in two of those courses in English and math and one required course in science and social studies to pass to the junior level. At the end of the 11th grade year, to be considered a senior, students must have acquired 17 units and in, of those 17 units, three credits in each English math and two credits in each science and social studies. To graduate, students must have acquired 24 units if they're on the top university diploma pathway and 23 units if they're on the jumpstart pathway along with the nine jumpstart electives and credentials for their diploma. In addition to that, all required LEAP 2025 tests and eligibility for graduation. If you have any questions at any time regarding your promotion status, please do not hesitate to reach out to your child's counselor. For dual enrollment, Ms. Uh, Tisa Stewart is our dual enrollment coordinator here at Washtenaw Parish High School. All students must address the top university pathway as well as a minimum 2.5 overall GPA. ACT scores will be waived for the upcoming school year. So if any student would like to take a dual enrollment course, they must meet that GPA and have a recommendation letter from their counselor or previous teacher of that subject and previous teacher, not or. So if you're interested in any dual enrollment course, and we do scheduling and the counselor goes over those dual enrollment requirements and courses. You can write in on your ticket that you are interested in taking a dual enrollment course, but, you, but the counselor will ultimately go back and look at everything, look at your grades, and they will need to have a recommendation letter since ACT scores are waived to take that dual enrollment course. So you need to make sure that you write that in on your scheduling ticket for dual enrollment, but also follow up with your counselor to get that recommendation letter. More information will be given to you by Ms. Tisa Stewart, our dual enrollment coordinator, prior to the closing of the school year, if you're interested in taking a dual enrollment course. Throughout all of that process, the student will complete a dual enrollment signature page, as well as apply online through ULM. These links can be found on our counselor's corner. All courses through ULM for dual enrollment, the student takes here on our campus, but receives college credit as well at the same time at the college level. There is a $20 one-time application fee, and at most, a student will pay $150 per semester. Most years, some of those fees have been waived. The dual enrollment courses that we offer here at Washtenaw Parish High School are Biology 2 Online, Chemistry 2, English 4, Medical Terminology Online, Pre-Calculus, Psychology Online, Psychology 2 Online, Sociology Online, Spanish 2, U.S. History, and World History. You can also refer to page 57 in our course guide for more information regarding dual enrollment. For our advanced placement program, the courses that we currently offer at Washita for our students is English 4 AP, Biology 2 AP, Human Geography AP, which is Advanced Level World Geography, Music Theory AP, U.S. Government and Politics AP, which is our Advanced Level Civics. So for our AP courses, students are required to take an AP exam after completing the course in May. If the student scores a three or higher, then they may be eligible for college credit for the course. A fee for the test does apply, 
which is currently $54. So should a student ever drop an AP course, they, they will still be held responsible for paying that $54 exam fee. And you can refer to page 58 in the course guide for our advanced placement program. Keep in mind that courses may change as we may offer new courses or drop certain ones that we offer now. So always get in touch with your counselor if you have any questions regarding AP or any courses. For students, for seniors wanting to become valedictorians, valedictorians are recognized here at Washaw Parish High School as having a cumulative 4.0 GPA. This student must earn an A in the course the first time they take the course. This goes for any courses that a student may earn high school credit for at the junior high that counts towards their high school transcript. The salutatorian will be the senior with the next highest GPA. These students will be recognized at the graduation ceremony as valedictorians and having a 4.0 cumulative GPA. You may also refer to page 34 in our course guide for more information regarding valedictorian and other academic recognitions that our school offers. This will conclude our virtual informational pro uh, event. So I hope that you got a lot of helpful information today. Please remember to visit our school website and like our social media page on Facebook as we do share a lot of important information regarding our school and upcoming events. You can see page six in our course guide that gives you this website, social media information, as well as all information for the counselors, email addresses, um, administration, all contact information can be found in our course guide. Please do not hesitate to reach out to anyone at any time by either calling or emailing as we are here to help you in any way that we can. Um, also, on our school webpage is a faculty email directory link that has all the email addresses of all the faculty here at Washoe Parish High School. It's an easy one-stop shop to gain this, this information. Um, so thank you for your time today. And again, we look forward to the schedule, upcoming scheduling. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a good rest of your day.